haven't seen it. It's just stuff that I've transitioned to over the time. I had the swing rope to it. I asked the wrestlers switch to it. I do a bunch of things, okay? Let's talk about this first one. Now, one way that I get to the octopus guard is if I have a kimura on and he strikes his arm out and I can't bend it anymore. If I had my thumbs, I would go back to thumb control. And this is what keeps him down. Try and get out of this. I keep his posture broke. I'm good right here. Right? If he bends his arm, I go back to the kimura. I'm not concerned about him bending the arm. Only rolling his arm out this way. Try and turn to, yeah, I don't want him to go that way. So I'm here like this. Watch when I swim underneath. I swing and pull the arm back. I can apply pressure or I can abandon it. I can sit up. We're both going to be in this position. I'm holding his back and I got the pad over here. I'm going to switch my hands. I grab his leg. I put my hand over here. I lift, pull, second hook. The arm that's under the armpit. I grab his wrist. I belly him out. I get him flat on the stomach. I pull the arm out. Lift his forehead up. Go to the rear naked choke. Number two, instead of going just for the Kimura version, I can literally do like a two-on-one. Now he knows he doesn't want to get his arm taken across like that, so I torque it this way. Once I torque it that way, I can literally pass it right by. Okay? Now that I'm up here, I go to the swim loop because I'm tall. Short guys, I tell them to take their back and get their feet out. Me, I transition here, my foot tends to get caught. So my foot's caught like this, and I can post on my knee on my own balance, you see? Now I'll cross grip, go for this way, and hook his arm, foot cuts his head, but his foot out, I'm swimming him over, and I get the arm lock or the spider web position. Another thing that you can do for the body lock, okay? Now, and another entrance, is literally just diving. Coming out the back side. So when I transition and I come up, I can also grab his far side wrist over here and just pull him over and take his back. Okay? Now, I love this one. Using the pressure of the arm. In the gi, I can get his arm over my head a couple different ways. But let's say I swing underneath, instead of sitting up, instead of sitting up, I'm gonna apply downward pressure. Just like I did with the Kimura. This is a great spot. Evan tends to post like that, see? And I take my arm and go right underneath his neck. I grab it like a twister. Oh, and I get a good tap. Now, let's take it to half guard, okay? And I'm gonna include the switch. Something I do in the flash. Let's go to full guard, I'll show you the switch. Okay, let's can sideways a little bit. Very good. I sit up, I elevate, I've got tons of video on this. I punch this arm straight down into the hip at the same time this leg goes in front of his foot, or his leg, sorry. My arm punches through, I apply shoulder pressure, I get his wrist going in, I come up, I take his back, or I can take his back. You roll in the truck from there too. Now, I say that because I use it in the half guard. So why would I want to be here in half guard? Sometimes Evan may be dominant over here. He may be beating my face in an MMA. He may be, I may have an underhook and it's just not working out for me. Maybe I got a cross face block and I can't get the underhook and I can swim. Okay? I can swim on my own. Okay? He could also, one of my favorite, he goes choking me. When he connects his hands, I pull my arm out and I come out over the top and I start to break that grip. He'll usually post his hand on the mat and think he's going to get to the grass and guard. Whatever reason for, that I got here, time, let me rest. Whatever reason I got here, I got here, okay? Now I want to get to like a butterfly guard position. I put my hook in, and then come over here. Come over here, okay? So I got my hook in, and my half guard's fighting. I'm gonna post right here. All I'm gonna do is post, and I get my other hook out. So now we got a butterfly guard style position. So when I kick my legs, Evan's gonna flatten it. When he comes back to his knees, I take his back. I'm gonna sink that hook. We're in half guard. I swam through. I'm here. Or I got tired of getting hit and I'm off to the side. I get my butterfly hook. Okay, so I get the scared little thing and my butterfly hook. And now I'm here. I could also, without my butterfly hook, I could just grab his hip or his lat. Stay on my elbows in one case I don't want to be on my hand. Go boys, two seconds. Derek, stay with Derek, Derek. Stay with Derek. 
Okay, so I'm gonna post on my my elbow instead of my hand, and then I'll just bump sweep them. Baby ride. Let's troubleshoot. I'm underneath, I get to here, I start getting in my hook. Now, one of the problems that I can have from here is, and I got a hook very similar to the bump sweep I showed. Evan tries to sit his hip to the mat, I just block his leg and I lift the hook. My knee's on the ground, I pull my other leg out. So my knee drove to the ground. I'll show one more time. Go back over here. Okay. Right? So, I'll lift this one, but this knee's gonna hit the ground. Sit on your hip. Oh, you pound the post. Keep that on there, it's nasty, believe me. Go try it out, I'm still holding his back. He can't breathe, it's horrible. Bending him in half here. Problem number two, stay there. Problem number two is when his hip does hit the ground, and now he's like in a limp leg position. If I stay soft, he just back step out. So what I need to do here is I need to bite. Okay, so now I got my legs configured to where Evan can't pull out. I tend to be broken down on my shoulder in this one, but it's okay, all right? So what I'm gonna do on, on my go, I'm gonna lift and pull, okay? I'm gonna try and build my base over here. Let me say, go, Ooh. So I'm doing a hook flip, first one we just did before. Number three is if I get here, I get here, and then he starts to bring his arm through. Bad news for me, right? He starts to put me on my back. So when I'm here, and he brings his arm through, it's never fast. See how slow that was? Because I'm squeezing onto him, right? So I'm literally right here. Watch, go ahead, Evan. I'm right there. If I want to, yes, I can finish the Kimura. I don't rotate the Kimura. I keep it flat, and then I rotate, okay? But if I'm here, and he pulls his arm through, I grab it. Look what I'm gonna do. I push that hip, I get my second butterfly hook, I get this hook, and now I start putting my leg out, and I go to the switch on the far side. Back. Again, I can switch to the far side. One with the arm. Back. My personal favorite, if you want to say which one do I use the most, my personal favorite is going to be right here. And I switch. And I'm a swim move guy. It's just ingrained in my brain. Tons of variations of taking the back, attacking the arm, shoulder locks, octopus guard. If you train it, then it's easy. Here's my son. Come on. Thanks for checking us out.